UEFN is the Unreal Editor for Fortnite, so UEFN. And it allows us, it's basically a replacement for creative mode in which the community can use Fortnite assets and build levels. So this is essentially a separate uh, session in which I'm running around, but there's no 12 year olds bashing my head in, which is really, really cool. So I can focus on building levels and I can, you know, try to destroy vans and stuff, but you know, that might not, that might not work. So traditionally in the creative mode, we had something like a building menu, which is still there. And it allows me then to say, hey, this is something, something cool. I think that's how it works. L2 is, I think this, you can then go and grab this flower bed, put it into here and then I think you can go and I always forget exactly how to do it you can go and grab yourself come on this object out of here and sort of place it elsewhere and the cool thing is that was possible with consoles as well as PC so there we go there we go that's another flower bed I guess there we go it's perhaps not not perfectly placed and I really don't know how to get out of this mode maybe it'll tell me here paste push Pull, grow, shrink, tab, drops out, drops on, I don't, I don't, exit maybe like this. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm no longer in building mode, but I've, you know, placed the, placed the funky flower bed here. And now I can, you know, that's, that's how I used to do it. But now we have this power of Unreal Engine behind it. So what's happening here is that they give us this as a separate session. And if I go and tab out of it, I can see this. So this is now the fully fledged or more or less fully fledged Unreal Editor. Unreal Engine 5. So it's currently built on 5.1.1. And it's it's almost everything Unreal Engine has to offer. And I can go and start from a new project, or I can go and create my own total blank project. It's kind of cool. I can go in and move things around just like I used to. Like I can you know, pick this up and then go and say, uh, I want to move the box somewhere else if I wanted to do that. I can also go and press the end key to put things on the ground. So, you know, fully fledged Unreal Engine editor. It allows me to examine things here and also, of course, um, move things around. So if I'm thinking, hey, that bus is awesome, but I'd like a couple of copies of it. Select it and then Alt, left click and drag to make a copy. And then you move that forward. You can also go and hold Shift down while you're moving something. That'll move the camera with it, which is kind of cool. So now people can go, PC players can go and build funky little objects, uh, levels with this. And, you know, maybe put some more traffic on the road here. Also, you know, go and rotate this a little bit. And maybe this, this bus has had an issue and it's currently, you know, parked there or whatnot. So um, the cool thing is this is now, this has happened in my local instance. So in order to bring that to the running instance of what's it called, Fortnite, I need to go and push my changes here. And it'll go on, yes, save selected, that's perfect. And after a few seconds, I should go back into this session and I should see my buses have come back in here. So that is how cool that is. And that's how quick this iteration process can be. So you can now use the PC to literally design your level. And most importantly, you can do this with multiple people. So I could do this with a couple of friends, one of which could be on the console going and using this, this build menu here that I've shown you earlier, which I don't know how to get into that anymore. But you know, the one I've shown you, the one I couldn't quite work out. So they can still do this and iterate level while they're playing. That works on console as well. But then PC players, they can do that or they can go into the Unreal Engine editor. So that's kind of cool. The exciting thing is also that if I switch back to the Unreal Engine editor, Lighting is different because, you know, we're at different times, I guess. You can go and bring up your content browser and have a look through the whole Fortnite catalog. So four years worth of content that you can have a look at here in the prefabs. You can see all these things like a castle or art deco. So I could literally drag in a whole building here, maybe this whole tower. There we go, Cyber City. And we can put something like that into the level. Is that, that That's a whole building, isn't it? That might be, that might be a little bit too much, but hey, that's... The beauty of the demonstration effect, whole cyber city building. That's just, that's just creepy. Should that go down? Yeah, perfect. That's aliens have invaded. And you know, we've got a, got a building here on the street corner that we, that we haven't had before. So perfect. Cafe has been obliterated. Awesome stuff. So this is the Fortnite content and you get the picture. I might just go and delete that because that was maybe a little bit, didn't want to demolish that poor cafe here. Uh, it works with smaller things as well, of course, from the Fortnite catalog. If only I knew where they are. Haunted, Haunted Haven, Ice House. Or maybe this here, the little jungle fox fountain. There we go. That's nice. 
that's what that looks like. So I can drag Fortnite assets in and build my own levels from that. But um, those are integrated Fortnite assets. So you can also do this, and this is kind of where it, it becomes really, really cool. You can also do this with your own assets. So you can literally go and import things and uh, put those in. And this is like a major, major benefit. So you can literally go and say, it takes a little bit of time to bring up this menu here, import two tilted towers. This is kind of my demo level. And if only I had something that I could use, which I think I've cleared up my desktop recently, stuff, maybe, Maybe I can find something in stuff. And there we go, heart balloon. Perfect, heart balloon V2. Let's go bring that in. I'm gonna open it up and I'll say, it's all perfect, just go and, you know, bring it in. Come on, buddy. Yes, there we go, perfect. It's created a material here that we do or don't really wanna use. I'm gonna go and left click and drag that in and then maybe a little bit too big. Yes, there it is, it's a tiny bit too big. Let's make it slightly smaller. I think I could have adjusted the scale a little bit here, but you know, I guess I didn't do that point. Zero five, maybe. F zooms me right back in there. Heart balloon F, come on, there we go, perfect. So it's maybe still a little large and I can create a material just like I could in uh, in Unreal Engine. So we go maybe point three. There, that's, that makes it a bit that makes it a bit smaller here. There, perfect. So it's a bit scary white. So let's go and see if we can adjust the material. That's it. I'm gonna make it just pink here. But very cool. So you can use this and then just go and put it into Fortnite and works with pretty much every asset if you're careful. I think we don't need the diffuse bits and pieces here. All I want is this pink thing. And that's in the emissive, so I don't really want that either. It needs to be in the base color. Yes, and one click means I'm going to make a parametric value with one thing. Put that into metallic, call it one. So that's 100% metallic. And if I wanted to make that maybe slightly less rough, so one left click that gets that value out. Now put that into the roughness map and say this is super shiny now, but maybe 0.7 is like, you know, and point seven is now a little bit less shiny. Point two, so make it make it like this frosty. Apply. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Now it's pink. And if I go and say push the changes, then you know this might might take a little bit of time. But my pink heart and my icy little thing here should now be inside my running session of the Fortnite. If I you know can remember where where I put it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Jay, where is it? This is my player start, by the way. It's kind of cool. We should be able to, to find it. All the new locomotion bits and pieces are in this version of Fortnite as well. So you have this whole uh, vaulting over things. Let me see if I can vault over the wall here because that looked very cool, like, like this. No, no, no. Vaulting was, was very cool. Shame I can't find that now, but uh, you know, it's one of those things. There's my buses over here. That's vaulting. See, that was vaulting. And over here, oh yeah, look at that. I may have tried to add a few more traffic lights where they shouldn't have been. <laughs> and uh, this is my ice box thing here. So that's already arrived. But the other, my little heart balloon, that might take a little bit longer and should appear here. Sometimes you see this little red box that they show here so that they say, you know, Thanks, Yoshi. I appreciate that. Sometimes they show you this um, big box as the item is arriving. So we'll come back to this as it uh, as it does its thing. It takes a little bit of time. This uh, loading also takes like five to ten minutes for Unreal Engine and Fortnite to start side by side. It's an alpha version right now, so it's um, you know it's it's coming, it's coming. But uh, oh, there we go. Sometimes it literally restarts your session when you bring in something from the outside. It's one of those things. And while it's loading that, let me show you. There it is. Perfect. <laughs> um, while it, there's my heart, I can see it over there. Can you see it? Let's go and slide down the mountain and go see my pink heart look at that Woohoo! my pink heart made in marvelous designer the other day live on a dash stream and now it's available inside fortnite is that and i really i tell you what i'm really looking forward to is us all being in this together building a level live because um 
you can not only bring in your own assets or the Fortnite assets, you can also, and this is what they're working on in the future, use Fab assets. So Fab, in case you haven't uh, heard of that, Fab is this new marketplace in which Epic have decided they have so many marketplaces, namely the Unreal Engine marketplace, the ArtStation marketplace, the Quixel marketplace, and also the Sketchfab marketplace. They're going to roll them all together into one giant marketplace and transfer all the products. We still have access to the products that we've bought and that is then integrated with unreal engine this is kind of the, the super scary part let me show you how that works so this is the alpha version of that is released in here this is not available inside of the regular unreal engine just yet but it's um, just the like unreal engine 5 has this little thing to bring in bits and pieces so basic shapes and you know cinematics and things but this is the fab alpha plugin that we have in here and we're going to have that for unreal engine as well when you open it, it'll just free float somewhere and uh, that's that's fine, but you can also dock it somewhere. And um, it is like a standalone marketplace tab. So it only has a little bit of content in it that we can just go and play around with. And uh, it has content from the mega scans. It has standalone 3D models. It has fully fledged feature packs into which you can drill down and then go and just pick an item from the pack. So you don't have to use the whole pack. You can say, hey, I really like this you know, piece of wire or this helmet or the power tool from this pack. So you can then go and literally left click and drag that into there, which is super, super cool. So literally, um, anything like a cement mixer maybe left click and drag oh, i thought that's how it worked add to content browser no, no no this was more elegant i think on the thing that was not in a pack like maybe this barrel here left click and drag that out of here and directly into unreal engine and then boom there we have it or you know something else maybe the, the this japanese come what's it statue left click and drag sometimes it has to upload the asset from the marketplace to your local browser and then also push it to your running instance of um, Unreal Engine or to Fortnite rather. Let me just go dock it here and we can you can look through this. This is completely freely available and this is coming to Unreal Engine, which is literally super cool. So now we have two mega scan items that, that didn't exist in Fortnite. So you can bring in completely new levels here and we're going to see those in the running version of Unreal Engine in a moment as well. This is another thing. This was a Japanese fire hydrant. That took a little bit longer because uh, there was a lot of detail, I guess, on it. But yeah, very cool. Push changes is already live. So if I go and switch this over back here, then I should hopefully see those things. There's the hydrant. Oh, that was there before, wasn't it? The hydrant, we already knew that. Oh yeah, this is a great example here. So this here means these things are in the process of, of arriving or haven't quite been pushed in yet. So sometimes you see these proxy objects. Maybe I do have to push those changes. Kitting push yeah there we go hadn't quite arrived yet <laughs> so it kind of pushes and then eventually it'll just arrive and happens with some kind of cloud magic and who who knows really how it works but you know eventually i'm going to see my my objects here so very very cool scan your own assets bring in assets that you already have and just build completely unique levels that aren't that no longer look like fortnite they just have the fortnite mechanics and your own fortnite characters and this is epic's vision of building the metaverse basically if you want to interact with objects you can't use static meshes they have to be a blueprint and the only downside to this whole thing as far as i can tell while we wait for our highly scanned assets to arrive is that you currently can't use blueprint so they have a new programming language that i haven't looked into yet called verse and i think they may have done that because blueprints are just not yet available or it's coming or they've decided they want to differentiate real unreal development from this i really don't know but verse this is what it looks like if you click it then another browser tab opens up i think somewhere after a short period of time and um, then you can basically add code files with the help of visual studio code things then look like this so it's not c plus plus it's not blueprint it's something like lua but it's also not python it's their own proprietary programming language it's basically much like what apple have done with swift so that they could get away from c plus plus sorry not c plus plus from objective c they just wanted probably their own thing so they had that developed and i think this is what what epic did i don't know how well it's going to catch on or if they're going to go and integrate blueprints into uefn only time will tell it's just a very very early alpha version but i thought you know 
I thought I'm going to give you a little preview of what this looks like and what is to come with Unreal Engine and all these combined marketplaces because I'm really looking forward to this being slick. Imagine you find an asset that you need. There they are. Barrel and the Japanese statue. Imagine you need an asset while you build your <laughs> indestructible. Imagine you need an asset while you're working on your level and you either find free stuff or you think, hey, that thing is a couple of bucks. That's cool. That's I'm going to buy that, get that with interactive license, put that in your project, publish it and share it with the world. That's the other thing. Once you're done with your level, you can share it with your friends, with basically millions of Fortnite players. And if your level is popular, you also get a financial benefit from it. So the more people play your level, the more you get financially rewarded. So that is their way of rewarding you for putting hard effort in. Is that crazy? Oh, is that crazy? I'm excited. I don't know where this is going to go, but hey, imagine that. Just ask ChatGPT to code it for you. That's a great idea, Julia.